time government has even found it to more violence because at no point can you say, I do want to help the poor, but I don't want to fund war, right? You have no freedom of economic choice. You still have to give them your money. You still have to give up your property. You still have to pay your taxes. Because if you did have a freedom of economic choice and what to do with your own money, government wouldn't threaten to send you to another cage if you didn't pay your taxes, right? So that's the hidden violence behind government and that this organization only knows how to solve problems through one way, a singular way, and that's through the threat of and use of violence to solve any problems versus the plurality of nonviolent solutions that you and I, us three here, already share. So what are your thoughts on that? I think you're absolutely right. Yeah, spot on. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Seriously, I, was I couldn't new, put it better but myself. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, I definitely agree with all that. Especially the smoking the plant thing. Right? It's a plant. Yeah. It's a victimless yeah. crime to begin with, right? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, yeah. this country's finally number one at something, and that's caging and dehumanizing its own people more than other totalitarian states in the world. Exactly. Right? Most of that is for victimless crimes. A lot of them is for a plant. Right? Mm -hmm. yep. um, and it's not a war on drugs, it's a war on people. You never see a hand yeah. cannabis handcuffed and thrown into a cage, right? Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Um, cool. Uh, well, so, that, so that's. So that's the matrix that we're born into. That's the matrix where we're taught to compromise our own values, to keep supporting government, to keep legitimizing it. And people say, well, you just gotta vote the right person in. It's like, look, uh, you've had a lifetime to do it. You know, especially older generation. You had a lifetime to vote the right person in. And, and then you continue to creating all this mess, right? Uh, then slavery with social security. You're forced to pay for it. You never gave consent. You never said, uh, you never get an agreement. You don't have a contract. They force it onto you when you're a baby. Yeah. You gave them, you know, how, do, how do you force contracts into babies? But you're forced to pay for it, and when it's time for you to retire, you'll never have anything for you, right? Right. Exactly. Nothing's left over for you. So that's what, what government is. They force these, these services onto you. I'm not saying I don't want cops. I want, I want security. I want mm -hmm. roads. I want law. You just don't want it to bug you. Right. You don't right. want it to be on your back all the time when you're not doing anything that's going to hurt. Nobody. Right. So. And I want, to, I want to be able to yeah. unsubscribe if I, if I don't like the service. I want to be able to say no. I want to be able to say, you know what, I don't like uh, the services they're providing. I want to compete entrepreneurially and provide a better service of quality. Right? right. Uh, who cares if a crooked cop gets fired? I want the organization to go bankrupt. Right? I want, I want like you, for example, to go, look, I've been in the business for 10 years. I could provide you a better form of security that's not going to throw anyone into a cage for victimless crimes. But government has outlawed competition. It's illegal to compete against their monopolized services. And that's all that government is. But monopolies are... Illegal. Right, well, right. So, if so if monopolies are bad, then we should be against the biggest monopoly, right. and that's government. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Cool. Any, uh, any ways that you've felt uh, maybe government has intervened intervened in your life or prevented you from uh, pursuing your own happiness? Spoken plant. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the main one. I had a lot of run-ins with police yeah. just because just we were... Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and a couple it, weeks ago, even. Yep. Yeah, and so you'll, you'll find um, a lot of the areas. If there was no war on drugs, war on people, the there would be no inflation in the, in the prices for drugs. There would be no reasons for for gangs to get involved. With it. You know, it, it, uh, the only reason they're involved in, a, in to begin with because it's more cost incentive to involve to take that risk yep. because of the artificial inflation. Mm -hmm. Remove the whole thing. Drugs go back. The price level goes down. Um, becomes very easy accessible. You can resolve disputes without having to do it violently because you're not allowed to go to court, for example, right? It's yeah. illegal to begin with. Well, even in a way, government has monopolized drugs. Yeah, yeah, they have. Yeah. They did monopolize alcohol, and here in Virginia, uh, ABC, yeah. they have a monopoly on the wholesale retail sale of distilled spirits, yeah. right? Yeah. You, you can't buy it conveniently as you would at Kroger. <laughs> nope. yeah. And they also yeah. sell alcohol under a different name, beer and wine, but it's still alcohol. Yep. Yeah, they don't want you smoking a plant, they want you going through a system to obtain chemicals that they have, you know, gotten scientists to co-sign, yeah. you know, people you don't know, a yeah. lot of them aren't that healthy, you know. Yeah, third, yeah. third party involvement, that you, that you don't need any of that stuff. Um, and it, it's, it would be cheaper too, alcohol would be cheaper, cannabis would be cheaper, you have better quality because now there's, you're branding it, now you can trace yeah. back, right, like, yeah. like you would any other product and service, right? Mm -hmm. You can sue the person, you can, uh, they could be held liable for the product. Um, but what ends up happening, so for example, government will hold this in front of you like, like your kid holding up uh, the cannabis, the freedom to finally smoke the plants, like vote for me and I'll finally give you your freedom. Like, who, who the hell, who are you to give me something that was mine to begin with by birth, right? Exactly. You're born free, right? Or you imply that I am enslaved, right? Mm -hmm. Um, otherwise, uh, it was just turn up to become another alcohol thing that they have here, like prohibition. Uh, so it, there'll be maybe an ABC store outlet for cannabis here, right? That's not really freedom, right? You can't still compete. You still can't like businesses, for example, that sell alcohol. Uh, they can't put up their happy hour prices on their own websites. It's illegal. They can't advertise. Yeah, yeah it's illegal. Wow. 
But ABC on their own website can put their prices for their own drinks. Right? Mm -hmm. So a lot of the, the, the hypocrisy, the, a lot of the things, it's, it's, uh, they make up the rules for you, but it doesn't apply for the political rulers. Yep, exactly. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Oh, well, or celebrities. Yeah, or celebrities. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> People have money or influence and connection to, to bribe government, right? Yep. But if there's no government, there's no one to bribe anymore. Exactly. No one to lobby. Right? Yeah. And it comes back to people finally held liable for their own actions. Right? You can have then, without government, one force majority opinion into a community here in Richmond. You have thousands of communities. You can have your 420 friendly community, you can have one across the street that's not. Right? I won't force it to do that which you don't want to do. Exactly. Right? On your own private property, great. Respect my private property, this is my body. Right? It doesn't belong to anyone. Right? But government makes it seem that your body belongs to them. Yep. Right? You have no control or freedom to do what you want to do with your own body. Exactly, true. Okay, you said it better. Right? But thanks uh, for stopping by, guys. My name's Cal. Yeah, I'm all for showing how the government's immoral. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so I, had go, I had to go say something. Yeah, no, nice, guys. Nice. Uh, we got to sign up for a newsletter? We do a lot of meetings. So that's the hidden violence behind government, and that this organization only knows how to solve problems the one way, a singular way, and that's through the threat of and use of violence to solve any problems. Versus though the plurality of nonviolent solutions that you and I use in our day-to-day -day lives right. to solve problems. Yeah. What do you think? What are, what are your thoughts on that? I agree with what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Cool. All right. <laughs> um, have you found any ways in your life that uh, prevented you from like pursuing your own happiness? Maybe government at wall or intervention? No, not really. But I've like thought about it, and I like definitely agree with you. Yeah. Yeah. Like there's like I don't know. I feel like the government like hides a lot of stuff. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. No, especially yeah, especially um, they hide a lot of stuff and you pay for that, but of course you don't have access to that information, right? Yeah, the government uh, has always been pissing me off. Like, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. And not to say like what what government has though, like they like they say they provide law, courts, judges, security, but I want those services. But these are the services government has monopolized. Right. right. You don't have the freedom like you would with Netflix or AT&T to cancel or unsubscribe. I don't like your service or to compete. I'm going to create my own business to provide that service that, to produce a better quality. But government outlaws competition, right? Mm -hmm. So who cares if like a, a crooked person in one particular uh, agency um, goes to jail? I would like that agency, that, that organization to go bankrupt. I would like to have the freedom to say no. I would like the freedom to, to go with someone else. Right? Have a polycentric legal system, have uh, competing uh, security services, for example. Yeah. Right? I'll, like, I've been in the business for 10 years, I'm not going to throw anyone into a cage for a victimless crime, for example, right? So, then that's, that's what you would have if you didn't have government involvement in our life. You yeah. have thousands of communities catering to lifestyle preferences. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Cool. Oh, <laughs> well, that was Thank you. Oh, of course. Take